The best news for all MCU fans, whether you wanted to hear it or not, was the announcement from Marvel Studios that they were going to be delaying a ton of movies in 2024, pushing them back to 2025 or even 2026. They delayed so many projects that the only movie we have coming out in 2024 is Deadpool 3. But the reason that Marvel Studios had for delaying all of these projects should make all MCU fans pretty happy. They did this so the films could be better and not just a little bit better but much better some movies were even completely scrapped and started over from scratch take captain america brave new world for example they are rewriting the script they are doing a ton of reshoots and the reason for this is they looked at what they had so far and decided this isn't good enough so it is sad that all these movies have been delayed but it's also a really good thing because the fact that they are delayed means that they should be improved and i specifically say should here we'll see what actually happens but thanks to all of these delays the schedule is a little mixed up now and a lot of people are wondering well where is marvel studios at right now with all of these projects what are their status updates and that's what we'll break down for you in this video and of course if you're new to the channel and you love marvel be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest mcu news so with the strikes happening and with all of marvel studios delays fans kind of have no idea what is going on right now with filming or scheduling or pre-production post-production it is a lot but don't worry we've got you covered now if you haven't heard recently deadpool 3 is done ryan reynolds the other day announced they are officially done filming deadpool 3 now here's the really cool thing about Deadpool 3. Like I mentioned, this is the only movie coming out in 2024 from Marvel Studios, and that is because they have faith in this movie. They know the script is good, they have seen what they have filmed already, and they believe that what they have is really good. And here's something that's really cool. Insider Casey Walsh has recently stated that all the shots and sequences were locked down much earlier than previous films to allow the CGI teams time if they need to change things. This was a big problem for a lot of Marvel Studios projects in the past. I'm sure if you've been following the MCU, you have noticed the CGI has been lacking in a few different projects. This could also be the cause of a bad script, reshoot. So it's really great that Deadpool has locked everything already, and now they are moving into post-production. It's very clear that Marvel Studios and Disney have a lot of confidence in Deadpool 3, so that is done. They are now in the editing process, and the rumor going around is that we should expect to see the first Deadpool 3 teaser trailer during the Super Bowl next month. Then we have Wonder Man, and no, the show has not been canceled. Yahya Abdul-Mateen II will be Simon Williams, aka Wonder Man, and in the show he will be an actor slash stunt person who gained superpowers along the way. He will not have superpowers originally. However, thanks to his fame as portraying a superhero, a lot of people will actually think he is a superhero, which he is not, but he becomes later on. They have officially started refilming this series in LA, which means we could be looking at a 2025 release date. 2024 could be possible depending on what they've already shot so far, but as of right now, we are expecting 2025. Then we have Daredevil Born again. They have officially restarted shooting in New York City, and this is another one of those projects that was unfortunately delayed, but for a good reason, and Marvel Studios basically did the same thing that they did with some other projects. They took a look at the script, they took a look at what they had so far, and decided, you know what, this is not really that good. And hopefully they realize that they have a lot to live up to, because the Daredevil show on Netflix is truly loved by fans. And they must obviously realize this, because they promoted the heck out of of Daredevil being an Echo, and he really wasn't an Echo. Only for like a minute. But they knew people loved Daredevil, so they promoted the heck out of it. But it looks like everything now is locked down, and they have a very clear vision on what they want this show to be. They did scrap a lot of the script that they had for Daredevil Born Again originally, but they did keep some of it. And we are expecting the show to come out in 2025, assuming all things go according to plan now that they've picked up filming again. Then we have The Thunderbolts, another project that was delayed from 20. 2024 to 2025. This project unfortunately has recently lost Steven Yun as Sentry. However, the latest casting report comes from Daniel RPK in which he stated in a tweet, in collaboration with DCU Leaks, I can report that Lewis Pullman has the current offer for Sentry in Thunderbolts. If you're not sure who Lewis Pullman is, he played Bob in Top Gun Maverick, an amazing movie, and he did an incredible job with his role. What's really interesting is I can actually picture him as Sentry with really long blonde 
blonde hair and if he bulks up of course. But I actually think this might be pretty decent casting. And they need to cast somebody for Sentry relatively soon because the Thunderbolts is supposed to begin filming before April. So we really don't have that much time left. Now it seems like they have a pretty decent story ready for the Thunderbolts film. Obviously the story is going to involve Sentry, one of the strongest characters in Marvel history, the man with the power of one million exploding suns, but it's also supposed to explore what they are calling Tiamat Island. Remember the big old celestial sticking out of Earth now? Well the MCU is finally going to address that. We haven't really had that address since the Eternals. And apparently Tiamat is made out of adamantium, which many people know is the metal that Wolverine has inside of his body that his claws are made of. So this movie has pretty big implications for the entirety of the MCU plus the future. This could introduce the Weapon X program and could even start to set up Wolverine. The new Wolverine, that is. The new one coming to the MCU, obviously not Hugh Jackman's MCU because he's already been set up. And he's from another universe. Then we have Captain America 4, Brave New World. I heard some things about what the previous movie was supposed to be and why they are changing it and let me just say I approve of them basically rewriting the script. This movie kind of already has it rough because it's another Captain America movie but with a new Captain America. It's no longer Chris Evans. Don't get me wrong, I love Anthony Mackie, I really like Sam Wilson, but he's got some pretty big shoes to fill. The great thing about this movie is we are indeed going to see Red Hulk. Thunderbolt Ross will be Red Hulk in this film. And this film actually does have more implications for the Weapon X program as well because we do know that they are still experimenting with people with the super soldier serum and other ways so perhaps this could be the start of the weapon x program as well now according to charles murphy at murphysmultiverse.com this is going to restart when the new script is ready he says hopefully by mid 2024 and i do like this i like that they're not really starting until they have a complete script finish because that is how you make a better movie. We'll talk more about this in another video that I have coming up soon. Then the news that a lot of people are waiting for, Fantastic Four. According to Charles Murphy, this is going to begin filming in summer of 2024. Now, according to some other insiders, an announcement of the official Fantastic Four cast is imminent. And we've heard from director Matt Shackman recently who stated that he really does want to tell us soon. We have heard the cast is officially locked in, that Marvel Studios has their Fantastic Four cast, everybody. And that means that it's going to get out eventually. It's probably going to get out pretty soon. So Marvel Studios is going to probably want to make the first move and officially announce it. We've talked about this in several videos, but basically once they begin filming, people are going to take photos of them, paparazzi, and leak them online. So we should be getting that official casting announcement pretty soon. Now next is a project that has undergone a lot of changes and we are talking about Blade. This movie, I believe, has had four rewrites and I'm super glad that they did because according to reports, Mahershala Ali really didn't even like the script to begin with. And I'm actually really glad he hasn't left this project because I think he's going to make a great Blade. Based off of what we know about the film and where it's currently at, there's a new script and Mahershala Ali is actually satisfied with it. So finally, yet again, they are moving forward with a script that is supposed to be Pretty good. Fingers crossed, at least. Now, last but not least, we, of course, have to talk about Avengers 5. There have been some conflicting reports from different insiders about what Marvel Studios' plans are for Kang. But most of the insiders have reported that Marvel Studios is indeed going to keep Kang the Conqueror, or at least a Kang variant, as the main villain for Avengers Secret Wars. However, most of the reports are stating that Kang is no longer going to be the villain of Avengers 5, hence why they changed it from Avengers the Kang Dynasty to Avengers 5. That is according to a report from The Hollywood would reporter. Now, according to Charles Murphy, this is tentatively stated to begin filming in 2024, this year, late 2024, however, and we most likely are going to be getting this film in 2026, which is basically what has been reported. So unfortunately, we'll have to wait a couple of years to get Avengers 5, but we do want Marvel Studios to do the best they can with this film, obviously. And this is a focus of them right now. What do they do with the next Avengers film? Do they put Kang in it? Do they not? Do they let the whole Jonathan Majors trial 
die down so people aren't thinking about it and to do that they have to not mention Kang or do they simply recast, have Kang still be the villain of Avengers 5 and keep it Kang Dynasty. Based off of what we've heard they've already decided to move away from it being called Kang Dynasty again according to the Hollywood Reporter which would mean they have to come up with a pretty new script. They may not have to scrap everything but we know a good amount of the script is going to be changed. But they're on it because it's supposed to begin filming at the end of this year which means they have a decent time to lock everything down and make an incredible script. And these are basically all of the big projects that are going to be happening with the remainder of phase five and the beginning of phase six. So there's an update for you about where everything is at right now. Again, the delays suck, but it's great news to hear that they really are taking their time with these projects, trying to make good movies and shows. And of course we have Deadpool three coming out this year, which is supposed to be huge. So let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on the MCU. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. We pick one winner at the end of each month and they pick one item. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.